Hey folks, Aaron here. Um, I'm working on fitting this banjo neck to the rim and I uh, figured I'd show you how I do that and give you some updates as well on um, the situation with my hands and my health. Um, so what's going on is that uh, this banjo neck has already been, this end piece has already been cut on a router and it's been roughly fit before, um, but I need to make it fit how I want. And so kind of got to go in and use a chisel and then some sandpaper to make it fit against here really well. Um, and uh, it's to the point right now where I'm about ready to do just a couple pass, light passes with a chisel and then get back to the sandpaper. Um, and while we do that, I'll give you an update on uh, my situation with my hands and my health, because I know that a lot of folks ask me about that lately and comment, and I appreciate that. Um, basically, the deal is this. I, uh, I've had a lot of chronic pain this year and weakness and uh, lack of former dexterity in my hands and mainly my thumbs, thumb joint. And that's actually due to multiple things. Um, one is uh, tendonitis and uh, the other is arthritis. And the kind of arthritis that I have is brought on by years of um, joint damage and bleeding due to hemophilia. So I have severe hemophilia A and uh, you know, the medicine that I take now for hemophilia is significantly better than when I was a kid. And most people now who, kids now who have the same condition as me, um, they're doing a lot better. But I had many years where basically all my joints that were under hard use were just kind of chronically low grade bleeding all the time. And I had lots of injuries. Anyway, that's what happened with my ankle a few years ago. Finally got ankle surgery to fuse my ankle. And that's changed my life. It's like I can now run where before I could barely walk. So, but I can't fuse my thumb joints. That's not gonna work for me. So anyway, I've got this chronic use problems because I'm out here doing this stuff all the time. And then all the fun things I like to do also include my hands. So, and it's hard for me to rest, you guys know that. So um, I've been doing tons of stuff this last year, not only change what I do in the shop and how I do it, but change my health and lifestyle and everything to try to support this hand problem. Um, but chronic pain is a real, it's a real, it's a real bitch. Um, and, uh, and that as we, I tell you about it, I'm sitting here, you know, just doing stuff where I'm just like picking up and holding again and again, like it's just this all day long. Um, but I love it. So we got to figure it out. Also, this is a sanding block I have with, and it's, it helps to kind of tweak the end of this. Um, and right here too. So, um, yeah, uh, couple things I've done lately that have really helped is uh, I didn't want to take any um, pain medications that have opioids in it um, and uh, I'm actually and I did take a lot of that surrounding my ankle surgery which uh, works great but wasn't good for me and uh, I'm actually two and a half years sober so I don't want to go back to taking opiates in any way um, and so I was trying all these more holistic and lifestyle changes, which are great. And some of them are helpful. Acupuncture and all these other things, which are cool. Massage and all this other stuff. But my doctor wanted me to try a medication called gabapentin, which is supposed to be for shingles and nerve pain, but off label, it's also used for people with arthritis and chronic pain like me. And another off label use is it also is good for um, a little bit of anxiety and mood help. Um, and because part of the reason, part of the problem with chronic pain is the anger and depression and everything that comes along with not being able to do the things that you want to do. So I've been on gabapentin for three weeks. I'm not taking very much of it and I like it so far. It's been pretty cool. I'm taking less Tylenol, that's for sure. And uh, it's uh, helped me in various ways. So I think I'm gonna stick with it for a while and keep trying. Um, what I'm doing now is, you know, this joint right here, even though I've it's cut carefully before, I really want it to fit perfectly. So I have these pieces of sandpaper with a plastic back and I can run it down in the joint and then tighten the bolt and then pull it, pull it out. And where it pulls out, it rubs along where it needs to come off and it slowly eases the joint in. It's a good way to get this going just to the last bit. So I know some of you might be saying, well, Aaron, you should get a CNC machine. You should, then you don't have to use your hands. That might be true, but you know, this particular joint right here, I'm fitting it down to the thousandths of an inch. And even if you cut this joint on a CNC machine, you still have to assemble it and it still has to line up just right. I, you know, 
It's not my vibe. I have been asking for more help in the shop. My friend Larry has been coming over twice a week. I've been saving a lot of the jobs that are hard in my body for him to help me with. I think that's a good plan. I've also just been stopping myself from doing certain things that I used to do um, that were just hard on my body. Um, and yeah, it's getting better, but I don't know. Got to keep trying some things. The other thing that probably has to happen is I just have to be out here less. And that's not a thing I want to do. And I don't do that very well. I don't rest very well. I'm working on that. But probably I need to also be paid a little bit more fairly for my work so that it's not money and anxiety about money that's driving me out into to work in the shop. Um, I think one of the reasons I have lots of work is because our prices are very fair, but they need to be fair for me. Um, and if I'm gonna be in constant pain, I might as well at least not have to worry so much about money. So yeah, in the next year or two, I think I'm gonna have to keep increasing prices and when I release new models, they're gonna have to cost more. Um, not that I don't appreciate all the business we have, Obviously I do, but um, I'm 44 now, and I wanna keep doing this for a while longer. And if I can't use my hands, I can't do anything. So, yeah, and also see I'm up here fitting the tension hoop as well, to, or fitting the neck to the tension hoop at the top. I don't come from the school of thought that this has to be a perfect joint that pushes against the tension hoop. I like a little gap here, but it should be an even gap that looks good to me, and the reveal has to be on, so that's what I'm kinda chipping away at right now um yeah that's me and my hands right now as you watch me <laughs> do stuff with my hands um i also have um i tried some steroid injections for arthritis in my thumbs and that didn't help but everybody really wants me to try everybody being my pt and my doctors want me to try steroid injections in the tendons for the tendonitis instead so that's coming up in march Hopefully that gives me a little relief. And in the meantime, I'll try to rest more. I promise. Cheers. <laughs>